I will come back to another set of boobs. <laughs> I told you lots would happen, and in arguably the biggest transfer news in the history of football, Cristiano Ronaldo has told Florentino Perez that he wants to leave the club, with sources close to the player saying that he is devastated by the tax fraud allegations which have been set upon him, and that he is prepared to leave the country because of it. Even going as far to say the decision is irreversible. The 32-year-old isn't unbeknown to some transfer speculation, and has apparently been set for a move back to Manchester since he landed in Madrid in 2009. It's difficult to work out whether this is legitimate or if Ronaldo's just pulling a PR stunt to try and protest his innocence. I can't say for sure now, but keep it big P for the next drama in this saga. Man United and Real Madrid stay in the limelight with more rumours of movement between the two. With some sources saying that Morata is set to complete his move to England for £78 million, and others saying a swap with De Gea is more likely. One thing's for sure, Morata is on his way. We're on our way! We're on Although those of you who watched the last instalment of Boobs will already be aware of this, so keep it big peak for the freshest news in the business. Meanwhile, Inter Milan winger Ivan Perisic is nearing his move to United for 40 odd million. Although I don't know what Mourinho is planning on doing with all these players. This is a potential starting 11 we could see this year. And this is another one. And this is another one. Stop it, Jose! Calm down, will you? Conte is reportedly unhappy with Chelsea, which seems strange considering his incredible success so far, not to mention his relationship with the fans. But I suppose we shouldn't be surprised. Apparently the rift is with Roman Abramovich. And it'd be fair to say he's had a history of this sort of thing. In the days since my last video, quite a bit has happened in the Dundills department. For instance, in the most boring move of the century, Victor Vindeloff, or whatever his name is, has moved from Benfica to Man United for £31 million. He's been linked with them for about three or four years, so, you know, alright. I'll ask you to join up the team, man. Going from boring to whoa! The biggest whoa move since Darren Fletcher to Stoke, Serge Gnabry has left Werder Bremen, who knew he was there by the way, I don't know, to buy Munich! The once Arsenal and West Brom flop has found his way into Bayern Munich. With Douglas Costa reportedly nearing a move to Juventus, this is quite some replacement. In another weird move, I mean, the lad's not that bad. I suppose it's right for him to play in the Premier League. Harry Maguire has moved from Hull to Leicester. It's not that weird. £17 million! Hang on! It wasn't so long ago, world-class players like Fernando Torres was moving from Atletico to Liverpool for £25 million or whatever it was. Now some centre-back from a relegated team who, to be honest, I'd never heard of, has just gone to Leicester for £17 million. I mean, who the hell is he? When Buffon joined Juventus for £30-something million, pounds, people were saying, wow, that's a lot of money spent on the goalie. Everton just spent £30 million pounds on the goalkeeper from the team who finished bottom of the league last year. Has the world gone mad? I mean, it's a good signing, he seems quite a decent keeper, but, you know, £30 million? Pounds? I don't think so. Another goalkeeper joining up with the Premier League team is Matthew Ryan has left Valencia for Brighton. I'll forgive you for not knowing who this guy is, as he's only played 10 times for Valencia. He's now Brighton's record signing, replacing David Stockdale, who played every game last year, was Championship Goalie of the Year, and has just left Premier League Brighton to join big club... Birmingham in the championship. I'm sorry, they're not a big club. They're the third biggest in the surrounding area, you know. It's a bit here and there with West Brom, but Aston Villa and Wolves are definitely bigger than Birmingham. What is he doing? I suppose he wants to link up with JC. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's not going there. Trust me, he's not going there. If he goes there, then, you know, I'd be surprised. Reported Cardiff target and free agent Joe Ledley has once again made the headlines, joining the long list of superstars to get a hair transplant. Maybe he needs to hook up compatriot Gaz Baz with their number. Although Bell might be a bit too classy for a company who made the amateur mistake of calling the Premier League the Premiership. It's been 10 years for God's sakes. Get it right! Right, that's it for boobs this week. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please tell me in the comments below what's the bit of business. What's the transfer you most want to see this summer? Tell me in the comments below. Make sure to read the description, like the video, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you soon! Oh. Blast.